Hello my dear students how are you all assalamu alaikum i hope that everything is going very good let's move to our next topic that is adverbs of place yes it's chapter number 36 what am i telling you about the place let's see 1 2 and 3 yes can you all see that where am i standing what's behind me can you all see Yes you can all see i am actually standing outside the house because on my back you can all see it's my house it means that adverb of place tells us something about outside or inside oh my god i am again inside my house yes because this is the inside of my house so you can all see very well that i am standing inside my house In the first picture I was outside and now I am inside my house. What tells this? This tells us that I am talking about adverbs of place. Let's see more pictures. What's that? Can you all see this? This is a school. The building of a school is there. So it means that I if I can see school there little bit far from my side it means that the school is there. I have used there as adverbs of place. So these were the things and the images that you can easily identify by using your own examples. Try to put yourself in different places of the house or outside the house and then notice that where are you standing. This is going to be the adverbs of place. Time for one more image. Can you all see at my back? the children are cleaning everywhere they are busy in the cleanliness of their garden so you can do this to your own also at your homes and find out more adverbs of places let's move to the book pages like page number 143 exercise 1 is about picking up some adverbs of places from there like he has come back So back is your adverb of place. Number two, I searched everywhere I could think of. Everywhere is also your adverb of place that tells us about our search everywhere. Let's see number three. Let us go out. Now I am talking about let us go out. Where out? This tells us adverb of place again. Number four, they have built a house nearby. where nearby exactly so nearby is your adverb of place let's see number 5 sentence that is the pian is standing outside this also tells us about the adverb of place let's switch to next page that is page number 144 on this page you will find on the top of the page few sentences that will be done by you yourself in the same way Exercise number 2 is again your task because you have to complete few of the sentences by using this phenomena of adverbs of place like beautiful birds fly in the sky where you can see in this picture that where are the birds are flying in the sky so where have i used the adverb of place in the sky yes in is your adverb of place again So you can put more sentences just like this. Have a look on exercise number three on page number one forty four. You have to pick out the right adverb of place. Number one, there are few options given to you. Like number one, the school is over there, and as I have used this example before. Number two, let's go inside. Number three, the kitchen is downstairs. there are some jumbled words given to you they have merged the sentences they have merged the words for you and you have to make them a proper sentence by using some adverb of places like number 4 the kids are playing outside next number 5 she has not been here this is again your set up of the sentences according to adverb of place so rest of the sentences will be done by you so move to the next page without wasting a single moment page number 145 exercise number 4 is very interesting that you just need to pick out one right option like choose the best answer from the options given below number 1 close the door when you go out the cat is hiding underneath the couch number 3 Will you be starting your 
plants dash or in a greenhouse outside will you be starting your plants outside or inside the house yes number 4 the ship sailed backwards encountering heavy weather along the way number 5 when she saw me waiting she ran towards me these are the all sentences and adverb of places very easy for you to find out the different directions of the places around you so please keep working on them the next topic is adverbs of time so we all know that we have already discussed before in the first topic that tells us about uh, when and how so this it has been categorized in when it means that when the action is done tells us about the timing and we have already discussed this but now we will discuss it separately by using so many great fun examples from the book pages like uh, in this uh, image you can see sun and moon what sun tells you it shows day time and what moon tells you it shows night time exactly this is the division of day and night and if the day has passed what you will say yes you will say yesterday about it and you will say that night about it last night about it this is what i am telling you about when something has happened now have a look on this image again this is about the calendar this image shows the dates to us for example if today is 17 what was the rest of the days will be called out before 17 will be your yesterday your past time and after 17 will be your future timings exactly so this is all about shows dates that has passed or will come to you and these things are known as yesterday tomorrow today later now last year before all these things tells us about the past time and the time that has been coming to us so let's move to the book pages exercise number 1 underline the words that denote adverbs of time let's see number 1 this magazine is published monthly when monthly number 2 he visits his mother once a week this is again adverbs of time once a week number 3 i have spoken to him already yes already tells us about our timing number 4 i have heard this before what's this before number 5 i often eat vegetarian food often exactly number 6 he never drinks milk oh most of the students are doing so they never drink milk so never is again your adverb of time so please be careful about choosing the rest of the sentences to your own number 2 exercise is again very interesting and it will be a great fun for you like choose the appropriate adverb of time from the given options and complete each sentence like number 1 we go out for japanese food willingly normally weekly or perfectly i choose the answer weekly because this suits we usually go outside weekly on weekly basis like on weekends we usually decide to go out for the japanese food i also like it let's move to number 2 sentence have you done your homework dash now then yet still when it's like now have you done your homework now yes now is your adverb of time number 3 do you dash work at the bank do you still work at the bank yes still is your adverb of time number 4 would you rather drive sometimes or take the train still never every day to the beach what suits although the rest of the options are also your adverbs of time but be careful about the selection of it like in this sentence 
every day suits the most like would you rather drive sometimes or take the train every day yes that's the answer number 5 the patient is still waiting to see the doctor oh doctors are too busy in their life so most of the times patients are waiting for them this shows that still waiting to see the doctor got it i hope that this was very interesting for you let's move to the next page that is 148 and on this page you will see exercise number 3 that from this exercise uh, we are going to also pick out some of the adverbs of time we shall now begin to work now number 2 you must get up early early number 3 i hurt my knee yesterday yesterday number 4 obey me instantly instantly number 5 he is going to multan shortly shortly have you noticed my dear students that all the timings that has been given in this as adverb of time are being used with the uh, ly and this is one of the very uh, fine clue for all of us that we are choosing all the ly words and as an adverb and these words are also showing us some timing that when this has happened Now have a look on exercise number 4 again this is going to be a test for you but I shall help you to solve only one sentence for you by using one adverb of time like I always like to study grammar yes and I have used an adverb of always Yes now rest of the sentences will be done by you yourself so oh, my dear students i hope that all these lectures were very beneficial for you how let's see you can all see on your computer screens or your mobile screens that some pages are in front of you what these pages are telling you that the text sentences have been done for you just to guide you just as a help but what we are going to do with the rest of the sentences yes we are going to follow a famous code that is a practice makes a man perfect and we are going to follow these uh, practices in our assignments yes because we all know that if you will practice more and more on the rest of the sentences that i have done for you it means that you will become the perfect one so i want my all students to be the perfect so keep on practicing as your assignment for all these sentences i hope that you will use adverb of place and adverb of time in your daily routine which is going to be a great fun for you have a nice day take care allah hafiz